Hi, this is referee Bob. Hi, this is referee Sid. Okay, here's a full disclaimer. This is the best estimate of the game rules uh, based on our initial read. Please consult game manual one, two, and question and answer forum. This season, there are two uh, team elements. One of them is a, a prop, team prop, and they can be no less than three inches by three inches, th three inches, and no more than four by four by four. The primary color should be red or blue, depending on which alliance you're on, and the the only marking alert is the team number, which is, it cannot be more than a half inch. This year we've got a second one called a drone. Essentially it looks like an airplane. Um, each robot on the Alliance can have one. You'll need to have a red one if you're on red side, blue on blue side. Uh, construction rules are very specific. Please read the game manuals. Essentially it's a single sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper or A4 if you happen to have that type. It can be either colored paper as I've shown here in these examples, or you can take white paper and color it with some markers or other things. And the only marking you need to put on there is your team number, and mostly that is just to retrieve it later. You can have the same design and a red and a blue like I've got shown here, or you could have a red and a nearly red or orange and blue, and you could have two different designs depending on what your strategy is gonna be for that year. Again, read the rules because there's no tape, staples, only one sheet of paper, etc. But please read the game rules as there's very specifics about how to build these. This is called the truss. One of the things is you cannot be stepping over it to do it. Even though you're going to have one robot start on this side and one on that, you don't want me to be doing something like trying to reach over here and not step over to get it. I'll need to walk around the end to do that. Same thing that Sid would have to do if he'd wanted to come over to this side of the field. A part of the pre-match setup is the team prop, where this uh, team puts the uh, team prop on the spike mark, and the pixel has to go back in the pixel storage. One of the last things for pre-match setup is you can preload either a yellow pixel or purple pixel or both onto your robot. In addition, if you have a drone, you could preload your drone onto the robot to do that as well and set that up. You need to do that before the field gets frozen. In Autonomous, there are several um, scoring activities. One of them would be placing the pixels on the spike mark, placing the pixels in the backstage or on the backdrop. However, for a bonus, the, the purple pixel has to be in the spike mark. In meaning, it has to be on the center because the randomization object is to the center. So that'll be in. If it is off the tape, then it's not in. Similarly, the yellow pixel can be scored if it is in the center based on the uh, center ra randomization, that'll score a bonus. This would not score a bonus because it's in the uh, right side. The teams do have an option of putting both the colored pixels, yellow and uh, the purple, in the backstage. They will not get a bonus, but they'll still score as the backstage. They also have an option of putting it in the backdrop, which will also score, but no bonuses. And then the final thing would be uh, navigating into the uh, backstage. Mind you, they just have to cross the path, they have to be in, not completely in. And at the same time, if there is a pixel in here, if the pixel is in contact with the robot, it still scores. So now we're gonna go to driver controlled, and in this case, one of the main things we're gonna do is be able to get pixels and put them into the backdrop. You can either get them here from the pixel stacks, you can pick them up and you can possess two up to two. You need to be careful about movement here because once you move it off the tape, you're gonna concur a penalty for any of those above two pixels. One of the other things you can do is make some mosaics and we'll show you some different ones. This one is a proper mosaic because it contains one of each color of the purple, green, and yellow pixels. So this could be legal. As you can see, they're separated by the white pixels. So you could have two mosaics would be here. Next thing you would be is a set bonus as you stack them up here, as you cross each of these successive lines, one, two, and three, and stack them up. Once you get a, a single pixel to cross that line, you'll get a set bonus, up to three set bonuses per match. The stage door is an area where the uh, robots can pass back and forth. They have to be cautious about grasping any part of the stage door. They could lift it, but they cannot grasp the stage door at any point. And also remember, for any robot coming from the audience side towards the backstage or the backdrop side have priority. It's called the transit priority. So if a robot, for example, is trying to go out, and if another robot is from an opposing alliance is trying to come in, the robot passing from the back to the front 
has to yield to the one coming inside. To, okay. Um, now we're into the end game uh, section where uh, three objectives to be met. One's uh, suspending from the rigging on the blue side and the red side. Um, incidental contact with the A-frame and any of these other members is okay, but the primary um, uh, point would be your rigging. That's where the uh, robot should be suspended off. Um, when the robot is suspended, this zone becomes uh, no access for the opposing alliance. Uh, the other par part is parking in the um, backstage. And in the end game, you also have the drone. The, primarily, the drone has to be launched from behind the backstage area towards the landing zone. Uh, it has to fly across and over the rigging. If a field personnel is in, in, the, uh, in the zone, and if it hits the field personnel, then they get automatic um, zone one points. The zone one is closest to the field, the zone two is the middle, middle one, the zone three is the, the outside. So that was uh, some better aspects of the rules. Again, disclaimer, this is our best understanding of reading through the rules a few times, to read game manual one and two, and access the forums when they're open. Good luck to all the teams and can't wait to see you at a meet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>